everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie! Today's video is an enormous pastel ASOS haul, which I've been wanting to do for quite some time. Ever since someone sent me this picture of a pastel Nike tracksuit, I've had my eye on that for a little while. And I was patiently waiting, patiently waiting until things went on sale. Now, this is going to be a two-part video because not only do I have an enormous selection of clothing behind me, I also have an enormous box of accessories. You'll get to see all of those in part two, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already, and follow me on Instagram too because there's all the updates and everything over there. So I think that's enough talking because I'm so eager so very, very eager to get into this clothing, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. But one thing I have to say before I do, it took a very, 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 very long time for this parcel to arrive to me, and unfortunately in that time some of these things have sold out, but often things come back in stock on ASOS. So for example, the pastel tracksuit that I'll show you was sold out at one point, and it came back. So if something's sold out on the link below, just keep an eye on it, might come back in stock, you never know. So with that, let's start over this end. So these yellow pants are by a brand that's called Reclaimed Vintage. These were originally $60, but they were on sale, so I got them for $24. Very glad that they were on sale, because upon receiving these and feeling the quality of them, I'm not impressed. These feel really cheap. They're very, very thin. There's loose threads all over the place. I'm just pulling loose threads off these pants, right, left and center. I'm not the biggest fan of trousers, like this sort of straight cut tapered in at the ankles trousers. I would love to be able to pull it off. I do often think that being able to pull off clothing just comes down to your personal perception of the way that you look. If you think that you look good in the clothes, then you're pulling it off. If people say something doesn't suit you or she can't pull it off, that's their opinion. And the only opinion that matters when it comes to the way you look is your own opinion. With that being said, when I've tried on long straight trousers in the past, I've thought, no, I, I can't rock this. But perhaps today, if I say to myself, girl, you're gonna rock these big bird pants, maybe I'll look like a Gucci model. All right, so you know what I was saying about like your mindset helps you decide whether you look good in something or not. So I've gone into this with the mindset of, yes, I look good. So the model in the picture is doing something like this. Right? I am trying to tell myself, yeah, they look good. Keyword, trying to tell myself they look good. Obviously I haven't ironed them. Uh, maybe these would look better if they were ironed, but that being said, also they are the wrong size. I thought that these would be a good fit, but this is really loose here, which means that they're not sitting quite where they should. They should really sit up a bit higher and be a little bit tighter, but I do appreciate that this is really baggy here. <laughs> this is great because it means you don't have any, um, none of the, you know, what, none of what you don't want to see. Big criticism, no pockets. UNACCEPTABLE! Really glad I got these on sale, because if they'd been full price I would have felt super ripped off, let me tell you that. They're so thin. Great if you can get them on sale. Nice, casual, relaxed fit. Perfect shade of buttercup yellow. So, I'd give it like an, an overall 7 out of 10, I would say. Next up is a coat, and it is indeed a green coat. So, uh, we have one very happy customer right here. This was 140 at first, but the sale brought it down to 112, which is still... I mean, I, I kind of want to say pricey, because any clothing that costs more than $100, I would consider pricey. But that being said, this is a very plush, delicious, warm coat. It's so soft. So soft. Look at the texture on this thing. It's delightful. Now, I couldn't get this in my own size. It's a uh, one or two sizes too big, but when it comes to coats, I don't think that really matters at all. What matters is that it's green. That is the main thing that matters, isn't it? Yes, I, I do mean it. Who's been around long enough to remember the days when people used to get angry with me for leaving my hair tucked into my clothes? Well, how the tables have turned, my friends, because look at this bottle. Her hair is tucked into her clothes. And it's fashion. I've just stolen the look. I've just got a black turtleneck. I've got black thigh-high boots. These are also from ASOS, but they will be in the accessories video. This is too big, but doesn't matter. I like the relaxed fit. Only problem is... Pockets are a lie. You guys know how I feel about fake pockets. Ah, everything's fine. 
the buckets weren't a lie. They were just sewn shut. Everything's fine. Yeah, I like this one a lot. I really, really like this. This is so warm. A little bit too warm. I'm sweating. This looks way better with the sleeves rolled up, I must say. Always good to look at pictures on websites for fashion inspiration. I personally wouldn't have thought to roll the sleeves of a coat up, but it gives it that more like relaxed, casual feel. I have a feeling some people would find this a little bit scratchy. I'm not finding it scratchy, but if you've got particularly sensitive skin, you might find it a little bit scratchy. Obviously, you're not really gonna be wearing this like right up close to your skin, probably best to wear a turtleneck under it, because at least that way none of those scratchy bits are gonna touch you. I think it's soft, but some people would think it's scratchy. I'd give this like an eight out of 10 to a nine out of 10. It's a little bit pricey, but I think it's worth it for sure. Like nice quality coats are worth the extra money and it's really warm. So I do feel like I could go out in the cold and not have the wind kind of blowing straight through me. So this one, this is a huge success. I'm really happy. I just, I do kind of wish I'd, I got it in the right size. It's just that little bit too big. I just think mostly in the shoulders. It look, looks a little bit too large in the shoulders on me. I feel very boxy. Kind of like a Minecraft creeper. Next up is something that I thought would look very, very high fashion, but just kind of ended up looking like a green garbage bag. This coat was originally $170 and it came down to about $94. Now I've been in love with this style of coat for quite some time. There's a brand Saks Fifth Avenue, I think it is maybe, uh, over in the UK. And uh, I follow this gorgeous girl on Instagram and she was wearing this delightful coat. And uh, when I looked at the comments, people were asking her, where did it come from? And she said it came from Saks, 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 side note, what an unfortunate name, Saks. Anyway, so when I saw this girl on Instagram wearing this coat, I was like, I need that in my life. Click, aha, it's $5,000. Never mind. But then ASOS came along and uh, basically, look, I, I'm not gonna say they knocked it off because when you think about it, it's, it's a coat with a furry collar and furry sleeves. Like surely one brand cannot patent that design. Sorry, we are the original creators of the fur collar coat and furry sleeves. So I'm not gonna necessarily say that ASOS has copied that brand, but it's a good alternative to the $5,000 coat. Only issue here is that this one is made of like a plasticky, veneer laminate stuff. And that one I think was probably made of what a coat's normally made of, wool. The fake fur is very, very soft, delightfully soft. The only thing that's cheapening it for me is the, yeah, the vinyl. All right guys, my favorite thing about this one is the pop buttons. This is one of those meet your man at a hotel room kind of coats. Okay, so the model's doing something like this. Did I get it? Now this coat, this is a size 12 and um, so it makes it about like four sizes too big I think for me but because it's got this belt it cinches in and it doesn't really matter. Without the belt it does look like an enormous green garbage bag. This is so very very extra. Yeah, I will say that this is probably the most extra coat I've ever owned. I feel like if you walk out of the house wearing this people are bound to stare. You get that a lot when you wear fashion that's out of the ordinary. Take it as a compliment, not an insult. They're staring because you're fabulous and you look like a stylish she-hulk. I love the pockets, the pockets are glorious. My only criticism is the fluffy bits. I wish they were kind of bigger. It'd just be very satisfying to have enormous fluffy pillows on your arms. Seeing it on the rack, I wasn't the biggest fan, but wearing it now, I feel fabulous. I actually, I really, really, really like it. Obviously not the biggest fan of the sound. That scene from Scooby-Doo. Well, that was my outfit, I swear. Next up, this was not on sale, unfortunately, and I very much wish that it was because this lazy oaf sweater was $150. That's right, ladies and gents, $150-y dues for a very basic and simple yellow sweater that's got a bit of embroidery on it. Now, um, it doesn't cost a huge amount to embroider something. And it does kind of make me shake my head at the fact that I did pay $150 just, just for that. And what I really want to do is buy a, a very cheap pullover and just iron on an embroidered patch into the center of it. Something I've been wanting to do for ages is trying to recreate lazy oaf clothing, but cheaper. Look, if you want to see a video like that, let me know down below. But before trying this on, my first impression is it doesn't feel anywhere near luxurious enough to warrant a $150 price tag. Alrighty, so the model for this one's doing something like this. It's cute, alright? Like, 
everything Lazy Earth makes is cute. The price isn't cute, but the designs are. Now, that being said, as cute as the design itself is, the material's awful. It's horrid. It's so scratchy. I may as well be wearing sandpaper. It really, really, really makes me mad when a company has the audacity to charge a hundred and something dollars for something that feels so cheap. Like, go ahead and charge what you want to charge for your brand, your art, your designs, whatever, but if you are going to charge something like that, could you at least put the effort in and make it feel nice? This is an embroidered sweater from YesStyle. This was twenty dollars. This feels a hundred times nicer than this. Tell me what you guys think about Lazy Oaf because like I said, I, oh, I love their designs. This embroidery, it's so basic, so simple, but so cute. It just says lazy and then it's like a vase with some roses sticking out. I think the neckline sits in a really nice spot. The height that this sits at, it's all just really nice. It's a really nice slouchy fit. Mm, I, I love it. I love it. It's so cute. I just wish it wasn't so expensive. <laughs> Next up we have pants. They are green pants. Now, uh, these feel a hell of a lot nicer than those yellow ones that I showed you at the start. The yellow ones, I can't really begin to explain how cheap they felt. These feel lovely. These feel like they're worth a fair bit. I'm not balking at the $70 price tag. They feel lovely. They feel very well made. No loose stitches. Looks like it's got really nice clean lines. I feel like this should fit me very nicely. And of course it's green, so extra, extra points. Alright, so these fit way better than the yellow pants did. They're a really nice thick material. I love them. They're super comfortable. The waist is the right uh, width for me. Perfect for tucking things into. I know the model's obviously wearing the matching top, but I wasn't interested in the matching top. I just, I didn't really like the style. Love the colour though. I personally wish these had a little bit more of a flare at the bottom. You, you know, I, I love flared pants. And I also wish they had pockets. No pockets. It, it does feel like something I should just be able to put my hands in my pockets and just... <sighs> Pastel chic. For me, that's the one thing these are missing, but these have really clean, straight lines. It's really like an immaculate, tailored fit. It's got nice belt holes too. There's also plenty of room too, from here to here. It's not as relaxed as what the yellow ones were, but still, I do often find with pants that they won't sit at the right height on my waist, but these are perfect. I love them. They're so cute. I don't normally like these sort of pants, but these have won me over. Oh, and I paired them with pink flats that will be in the accessories video. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, here we are! It's the pastel tracksuit. $137 for this Nike color block pastel tracksuit hoodie sweater. What do you call these? What do you call this in your country? I'd probably call this a, a hoodie. Anyway, when they released this collection, I felt like they released it just for me, really. I, I saw it and I was like, <laughs> well, that's got my name written all over it. The hood is green inside and blue outside. You got a yellow sleeve, a pink front, a green sleeve, a blue pocket, a gold Nike logo. It doesn't get much better than this, ladies and gentlemen. As far as my favorite color scheme goes, this is the epitome of my brand right here. This is a size small, and uh, it's got a little tag here that says loose fit, so I believe it is meant to be oversized. There are matching pants, and when I put through this order, the pants were sold out. But I just checked back yesterday, and the pants are back in stock. Part of me thinks I should buy them, but the other part of me says, no, no, you need to stop the spending now. Quit while you're ahead. Your wallet will thank you. How does one critique perfection? Well, look, the only thing I have for you is big, sad, big, mad, big, expensive price. It's expensive, but it's glorious. I love it. I love it. I love it. I also got this $90 Nike t-shirt. Now this one, this does make me regret my life choices. As adorable as it is with the lilac and the blue and the yellow, the only thing warranting a $90 price tag right here is the Nike logo. That's what you're paying for, ladies and gents, because this, this just feels like a very basic t-shirt. This feels like a Walmart t-shirt. I haven't even tried it on yet, and I'm already going to tell you that I don't recommend it, because... Paying over a hundred bucks for this? Fine by me. Paying almost a hundred for this? Correct. Okay. Yes. Cute. Very cute. I do... I do like it a lot. Like I was saying before, it's expensive. $90 for this feels like a lot of money. 
But that being said, now that I'm wearing it, I don't feel sad. I feel happy. And $90 is a small price to pay for pastel happiness. Not true. That's expensive. I don't recommend it, guys. If you were considering paying $90 for this t-shirt dress, you're better taking that money and buying the hoodie. You're far better off with that. I'll still wear this a lot. But like I said, all you're paying for is the shiny Nike sticker, which is very cute, actually. Look how shiny it is. <laughs> Now this, my friends, this was $40. This is delightful. This green pullover is so cute. It's got this lovely, lovely stargazer pattern. The girl's got purple hair like me. The inside of this is so soft, delightfully soft. And this being 40 and this being 150, you're paying $110 more for the name Lazy Oaf. That's what you're paying for. Lazy Oaf versus Daisy Street. This feels a thousand times nicer than that other one. It feels warmer. We have a loose thread. I didn't notice loose threads on the Lazy Oaf one, but I'm not one to pay $110 more for the same thing, purely to avoid the loose threads. I don't mind the loose threads. <laughs> well, I'd like to get a good expectation reality shot, but uh, I don't own black Converse. Luckily for me, my husband does. No one has to know that they're five times bigger than my feet. Am I doing it right? <laughs> Did I nail it? Oh, this is exhausting. My foot is cramping now. Mm. I like it. I like it a lot. It's very cozy. This is so warm. Too warm. You know what? I kind of regret it now having dyed my hair a more vibrant purple because my hair literally yesterday was this shade of purple. So I would have been color coordinated with this sweater. I just, I can't get over the fact that I have purple hair and she has purple hair. I really like this so much that I'm going to explore this brand further. What was it called? Daisy something? I'm gonna have a look at this Daisy brand on ASOS and see what else they have because I really like this art style. It's really cute. Quality feels really nice. It's so soft and it's so toasty and warm. I like the length of the arms. Sometimes when I buy these sort of things, the arms are too short for me, but look how long the arms are. They're great. I think this is a new favorite outfit. Oh, this would be a good Instagram photo. No, I'm not wearing socks. Not wearing socks in my husband's shoes. It's like sharing a toothbrush. Next up, the big bird coat was $200 down to 160. This is heavy, heavy. And also, you know, this is the same style as the green one that I showed you, but obviously the green one is vinyl. This one is a beautiful soft plush material on the actual coat. The fur part, still faux fur, nowhere near as soft as what the green one was. There's a bit of a compromise here. It's either nicer feeling coat with less soft fur or super soft fur with garbage bag coat. I think value wise, you're much better off getting something like this than that one because just the quality of this and what feels like the craftsmanship, feels like the way that it's made is much, much better. Why are you biting me? All right guys, so surprisingly, I actually think I liked the green one a little bit better than I like this one. I don't, it's got nothing to do with quality. Obviously this one's way better quality. And this one also has the enormous puffy sleeves that I wanted from the first one. But because the first one was that very thin vinyl fabric and this one is really chunky, this is just quite a coarse coat. Like it's just very heavy and almost hard to move because it's so thick. That's obviously a good thing if it's winter. It's a very good thing. So I can't really complain about that. The enormous, enormous fluffy collar is incredible. I can't tell whether I feel like a lion or I feel like Big Bird. Man, this is such, such a loud coat. Where am I ever gonna wear this? Okay. I, I promise you, I promise I'll wear it, I promise. So the weather's warming up here and uh, I can't travel to any cold destinations, but I will wear it one day. This will sit in my wardrobe until it's cold enough to wear. And until that time, I'll just use it as Big Bird cosplay. Next up, 70 
$6 jeans. These looked really, really cool on the model. They are the sort of jeans that your grandma would look at you and have a fit. I know my husband would ask me, what are you paying $76 for? Dental floss. Also, we have a nice little butt window at the back. This is uh, for playing peekaboo with your butt cheeks. Am I doing it? Did I nail it? Kind of, not really. Don't have the right top, but close enough is good enough. All right, these are definitely cool. I'll give them that, they're super cool. But the one problem is the butt window. I love the shape of them. The shape is so cool. I'm actually, I'm not that bothered by how many tears are in the front. The main issue is that, look, I'm wearing Spanx under this, so it's okay. But if I wasn't wearing Spanx, you just, you, you see straight through there and you see straight through there and um, I don't think I can ever wear these. I think I'm either going to have to wear just black stockings underneath them or uh, maybe sew a little... So uh, I don't know. Any tips please? Because this is... this is not... this is not what we want to see. This is most certainly not what we want to see. But major points for the uh, Bratz doll vibes. I really, really dig them. I just don't know where I will ever feel comfortable wearing them. <laughs> Next up, I was really, really torn about this dress. This was $136 and the amount of times I added it to cart and then deleted and then added again because one part of me was like, yes, this is so lovely and whimsical and adorable. And then the other part of me was like, <laughs> I remember when I was five years old and ladies used to dress as fairies and come to the birthday parties and they'd come around and put a crown on the birthday girl's head and they would serve fairy bread. If you're not Australian, you're probably very confused. Anyway, this dress kind of reminds me of 1990s fairy themed birthday parties. So I wasn't entirely sold on it, but I did cave in and decide to get it and I kind of regret it because it feels so cheap. This whole dress is made of linen and it does not exude quality. Oh dear. Hi, what do you think? You like it? There's also threads coming off all over the place too. <laughs> you get multiple dresses in one, really, because if I stand here, it looks like I'm wearing a mini dress. It's very Paris Hilton in the early 2000s. If I take a little bit of a step back, it looks like, oh, yep, maybe I'm just wearing like a knee length dress. And then obviously the rest of it, it's a full length. I equally love and hate this. It's cool, but it's also, I just, I want to host a birthday party. It is sassy. I'll give it that, it's sassy. The colors are adorable. I also really, really like that it ties up here at the sleeves. And I think that uh, the way that this sits, the height that this sits at, like my belly button's here. So the pink part sits really low on the torso and it creates a really unusual silhouette. I, oh my God, I don't know. I think, I think I like it. I really want to hear what you guys have to say. Do you like this dress or do you hate it? Oh my god, it just occurred to me what I look like. I look like a cake topper. $70, reclaimed vintage corduroy pants. These, these are beautiful. Um, oh yes, hello. These feel incredible. These are thick corduroy. Look at the chunky boy corduroy. <laughs> they aren't very long. They're kind of short. On the website, they style these with black sandals. I don't own black sandals, <sighs> but I'll see what I can do. Okay, an attempt was made. I have tried to recreate the look. This is the closest I could get to black sandals. Kind of ruins the outfit a little bit. <laughs> look, this is another love-hate situation. I love the pants because they're chunky corduroy and they're mint. I hate the pants because I just, I really don't like the height that they sit at. If these pants went all the way to the floor, if they like covered my shoes, covered my toes, went all the way to the floor, I, I'd wear them everywhere for the rest of my life. I don't know, they're just awkward. You know what I mean? Just awkward. Awkward and boxy. I wonder if rolling them up will do anything. I dislike them slightly less now. Hmm. If you like this cut and this style, then yes, by all means, go for it. They are exceptional quality. These feel amazing. These are some of the nicest corduroy pants I've ever tried in my whole life. Just, you know, the way that they feel, they're so soft and they're made so well and the fabric's so thick and the corduroy is chunky and the color is amazing and everything's great. What do you guys think? How am I supposed to pull this off? Like literally the girl in the picture, she's just, 
She's just got a, a, a white t-shirt and like black sandals. Maybe if this had like a chain or something, tell me how you'd style these pants. I feel like you kind of have to accessorize them to make up for the fact that they are an awkward length. Hmm, yeah. Alright, this is a hard one guys. Tell me what you think. And we have this. I've wanted a pearl button cardigan for the longest time. As far as these sort of cardigans go, this is $66, which I think is a little bit... A little bit expensive for something like this because I have seen these on Forever 21 for like $10, $15. But I will tell you what. I wasn't gonna say that. It feels excellent. This is so thick, so delightful. I feel like I'm gonna live in this. As soon as this goes on the body, it's not coming off the body. And the pearls, they're really nice. They're not buttons, they're like actual whole sized pearls. See the size of them? They're really big. Other times when I've seen this style, it's a button pearl, just kind of like a half pearl. So these are full pearls and they're really cute. Super chuffed, haven't even tried it yet, super chuffed. Okay, I couldn't think of a bad thing to say about this if I tried. This is so cute, oh! I adore the buttons, I absolutely love them, they're so pretty. It's got really super stretchy sleeves, they're really nice and long. Super stretchy, come down to my hands. This is the nicest knit cardigan. It's so warm, it's so comfortable, so cozy and toasty and flattering and the color's perfect too. All it needs is uh, one of these little teeny tiny bags that you guys will see in part two. I'm having a moment. I love it so much. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh, if this is out of stock on ASOS, I'm really sorry. I hope it comes back in stock again. This is so cute. See, the thing is, I've seen these in so many different stores and I've never actually gone and bought one because I wasn't that impressed with the quality. But this knit is so thick and so stretchy and so lovely. I have nothing else to say. I love it. This is 110% worth the price. I don't mind at all paying a bit more for something if the quality is wonderful. And this is so special. This is such a special cardigan. I love it. Ah! Yes! Okay, now don't forget, I did also get a ridiculous amount of accessories. We have teeny tiny little 90s style bags. We have slinky sandals. We have quilted sandals. We have super chunky, chunky, chunky loafer style heels and so much more. So if you want to see that video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and follow me on Instagram because I've started doing little countdown timers before I upload my videos so you guys can actually prepare because what I was doing in the past was just dropping videos at random times with like just no no notification, not telling anyone, just dropping them. So I'm, I'm uh, telling you guys in advance now. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be able to see when I upload that video. And uh, I'm actually more excited about the accessories than even the clothes because the accessories are so cute. So anyway, with that, Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!